playing with his new friend. What have you been doing? <laughs> they were playing like a, like a driving, driving game where you drive. Oh, very good. That's good, you can play together here. Yeah. And what are you doing tomorrow over here? And we're going to football together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Indian football? Yes. yes. You think they can play? Yes. yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we'll see in that tomorrow. Mud. Yeah, in mud. In the mud? Yeah, because... Is it going to be wet? Yes. No. It's going to get muddy. Yes. I'm going to put you in the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Now we're going out to see a bye. fort. Okay, bye bye. 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 <laughs> Well, today is Monday, 24th of September. It's raining again. It's uh, not cold, but raining. We hear there's some uh, storms in Hong Kong that are yeah, spreading over to India. Which, uh, usually this time of the year, the rainy season is finished, but, uh, but now they have a few more days of rain. Just while we're here in Jaipur. Okay, you ready to go? Yes. Okay, let's go. Fort. It's the biggest attraction here in Jaipur. It's about 11 kilometers from the center of Jaipur, the pink city where we were. So now uh, let's go and have a look at this and see what we can learn here. So this was built in 1592 by Raja Singh I. It's situated high up on a hilltop here. So this used to be the, the city here within a four kilometer radius is the city before it was moved to Jaipur. Jaipur is a new city and built uh, much later. I heard you can take an elephant ride to the top. Huh. Here, they do elephant tours up to the castle there. I guess they heard they're trying to stop the practice here. Some uh, animal welfare groups. So I'm not sure how they treat the elephants, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit bumpy, or well, not bumpy, but uneven. We're on our way. Hop the path here on an elephant. Okay, now we are on an elephant, and this elephant are 35 years old. This is the elephant. <laughs> How old does he live? Uh, he lives to 70 or 75 years old. Mm, yeah. Even while you're on an elephant, why people are trying to sell you things.
40. This was built in the 16th century. And, uh, you can see it's actually fortified city. It's about a four kilometer wide city with uh, fortified walls all the way around. Start with yet another hall of public audience. This is where the king would meet with the public here. Here from Spain, she's just adopted uh, the young girl from India, so she's here to collect her. So. Inside the hall, he's decorated with thousands and thousands of mirrors here. Yeah. Okay, so these are the toilets. Not much has changed in. Uh, a lot of the places we've been are still using toilets just like this. So. The castle here, this actually is a tunnel, exit tunnel. This goes a few kilometers all the way to a lake, but there's another fort. This is an escape route if they ever they needed that. Now it's time to walk down, but not with an elephant. We'll do it ourselves this time. owner told us that it was very busy yesterday here at the fort when it was Sunday because it was raining and there was good weather because they only have a few days a year with rain so they think it's good weather and that's when they go out and go for a picnic in the rain. Yeah, they're tired of sun and dry weather. They, For them the opposite is true, they like rainy weather. <laughs> I never heard that before. India was a country of tea drinkers, but actually we've seen quite a few coffee shops. This is a speciality coffee shop here where they make all kinds of coffee here. So here's a great place. They even have good music as well. <laughs> Cakes, hot chocolate and status quo. <laughs> so, now we've had uh, yeah, quite a few experiences with Uber taxis and uh, other taxi drivers and uh, just watching the way they drive around here in general and uh, I can imagine if you see some of the video shots we've done from uh, tuk-tuks or taxis I think it looks completely chaotic but uh, in reality it actually um, it all flows uh, quite nice and smoothly really nobody's uh, speeding around like you may have experienced in an Italian taxi that's completely uh, hair raising but uh, in India it's, uh, they don't speed they drive pretty nice and calmly really but all the traffic just seems to flow into into each other where cars all come in from the side of the road they don't stop they just drive straight into the flow of traffic and without uh, all the other drivers getting angry and uh, 
being annoyed, they just let them let them in. Same when you're crossing the road, uh, you just step out into the road, and cars just seem to magically <laughs> stop and avoid the people just crossing the road. It's amazing the way it just uh, flows, even though it seems completely chaotic. And you probably heard a lot of uh, tooting of the horns and blowing the horns. And they don't do that uh, because they're angry, like we may do in Europe. We only blow a horn when we're angry at somebody for doing something wrong. They don't do it here. It's just a warn of their presence that they're coming, they're overtaking, or they're pulling in from the side. Um, some, sometimes they do because uh, they want the car in front to, to get a move on, but not. Uh, but mainly it's just to, to let you know that they're they're coming down the road. So. Uh, yeah, like the car there, he's turning left there, so he tooted his horn just to let people know he's doing a manoeuvre. So, uh, but it makes it very noisy when you're out on the streets. It's, uh, it's quite deafening at some point. You really can't hear what's going on, but a lot of tooting. But, uh, but so far, yeah, when you just learn uh, the way they drive, then it all seems to be quite uh, civilised, really. Even though it doesn't look like it when you see it on the film. Another thing they do here, especially the taxi drivers, they insist you wear a seatbelt. Especially the uh, Uber drivers, but uh, in Central Asia, in many, many countries, we never saw anybody wearing a seatbelt. You also see lots of uh, windscreens with uh, head-shaped cracks in them where they've uh, hit the windscreen. There's nobody, nobody anywhere wears a seatbelt. Um, not in countries like Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, we've been to Central Asia, we never saw anybody wearing a seatbelt. But uh, in India, yeah, they wear seatbelts. That was the end of another day here in Jaipur. I actually booked, uh, I was planning to move on tomorrow, but now we've booked two more nights here in Jaipur. Um, we're just taking it day by day at the moment and uh, see where we want to go. But uh, tomorrow the boy that uh, lives here in the in the bed and breakfast, he's invited Jamie to go and play football with him, with his, uh, with his uh, local football school. So uh, we'll stay here another day so Jamie can play football. And I think the day after he's taking him swimming, so... <laughs> and there's still a few more things we want to see here. So uh, we're taking two more days here. And after that we booked, booked uh, flights today to go to Goa. And uh, that should be a... that's a nice place where they have beaches and uh, this kind of thing. Completely different to visiting castles and forts and mosques, so... Uh, that's where we've uh, been thinking about going, so today we booked some flights down there. So we'll fly to Mumbai and then we'll change flight and then fly to Goa. Um, so uh, yeah, so that should be nice, even though the weather doesn't look uh, too good, it looks like it's raining even down there. But uh, yeah, that's a, a shame, but we'll see. We'll see what it's like when we get there. But uh, the main plan is really when we came to India, we wanted to learn uh, yoga. So uh, we've heard about these different yoga courses you can do. Um, most of the yoga classes, they're in Rishikesh, uh, which is where the Beatles uh, went many years ago. And uh, But also there you can uh, learn yoga in Goa as well. So we'll do that. So that's where we'll be. Uh, I think Friday, I think we'll be uh, in Goa. So um, yeah, so that's the plan at the moment. So uh, we'll stay here two more days and we'll do a little bit more sightseeing. Jamie will play football, that kind of thing. So, okay, that's uh, it for today. See you tomorrow.